Hello. Hi. Uh, please tell me about the challenges of this kind of, of project that you had in Romania. Uh, about the Green Building Council itself or about Green Mortgage? The Green, the green Building sure. itself, not the Green Mortgage. Sure. I, I think the challenge uh, to get the project moving was really that, uh, in a sense, everyone was waiting uh, for everyone else. The, the developers would tell us that people weren't interested in Green Buildings. Uh, so they'd like to build them, but people weren't interested. The um, project, uh, the manufacturers of product and, and services said developers aren't asking, so we don't want to provide these if they're not asking. Uh, and, the, of course, the, 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 the building occupiers couldn't find uh, these solutions as well, so they didn't know to ask. So everyone was waiting for everyone else really to begin the process. So our challenge was really to bring everybody together as an industry and uh, with the building occupiers and, and potential homeowners and people who rent offices and, and get everyone thinking that yes, they can have this and that it, it exists in Romania. And I think that's that's been our really our biggest success in the last, uh, last few years has been really taking away the idea that it can't be done here. It's already being done here. There's, there's already some fantastic examples uh, uh, in, in Romania, of course, in the capital city, but also in, in many other cities like Cluj is, uh, I think, leading the way with a, a lot of green buildings, and these are happening uh, everywhere. Uh, can you say some uh, names if you said that uh, uh, there are a lot of examples in, of green uh, buildings in Cluj, Bucharest, other countries, other cities? Sure, sure. Uh, d just, just to start in Cluj, I mean, there, there's, for example, Studium Green uh, is a company that's doing some very nice uh, residential uh, properties and is actually one of our, uh, or is the first approved uh, green mortgage uh, qualified project. Uh, you have Liberty Technology Park, uh, which is a conversion of an old piano factory, which is now uh, a very nice technology park. Uh, in Bucharest, you have Floriasco Park, which just won our Green Building Project of the Year, uh, which has the, the largest uh, installation of geothermal for office in, in Romania. Uh, Crystal Tower uh, has a double skin facade, very high energy performance, very good connectivity to, uh, to Metro, as, as does Floriasco Park. Uh, I think there's just a, a number uh, to mention. I, probably the easiest, uh, we have a database uh, uh, that's at Construction21. Dot EU and it's in Romanian language that, that people can go and look and see all of the buildings um, that are that are considered green that that, that we've identified. Um, what do you think about the market of uh, new new homes in our uh, country? Is it on a good trend? What about the the prices, the perspectives, the plans of the uh, developers? Do you think they are good? They're on a good trend, or they can be even better? I think they're they're definitely on a better trend. I think what we saw interestingly in the crisis was certainly there was pressure on prices and and the prima casa program encouraged people to keep things at a at a at a low qualifying price for prima casa. But interestingly, if you look at the advertisements of of the projects, they're now looking at things like the proximity to metro. They talk that this is 50, 50 meters or two hundred fifty meters from public transit or from a metro station. You also look at the energy performance of the building as being much more advertised uh, than it was before. That being said, of course, I think a lot of these projects are at the very l lowest level of an A energy audit, uh, and, and that methodology can be improved, and, and we would look for, for, let's say, much higher levels of energy efficiency and other green criteria. So in a sense, we've really been on a positive trend. Uh, I also think a lot. what's important to me is that a lot of the developers who did projects we were at the uh, National Real Estate Fair, T TNI, uh, in Bucharest, and uh, we had an exhibition there, and we had a, a lot of developers who built okay projects, but not, let's say, the best green energy performance. Many of them were coming to us and asking, okay, how do we do it? You know, next project we know, we, we learned our lesson, we want to do it greener. So I think this is a, a very positive sign for things to come. I got it. Uh, what do you like about the city the most? about our city, about this city? Yeah. Uh, well, I, I, I'm very impressed with the, the, the positive changes. I mean, there's, there's the, the mobility uh, group of the municipality of Bucharest has, has done, uh, I think, some, some really uh, brave projects. I mean, with, if you look at Calea Victoria and, and improving the pedestrian access, and I think they did the same. I haven't visited yet uh, um, near Piazza Uniri, but I know one of the boulevards has also been 
uh, uh, modified. So, so I think this was a very brave decision. I think a very um, uh, a sign that that really uh, it doesn't have to be only dominated uh, by the automobile, but that we can actually have a, a more mobile, uh, greener city. Uh, also, you see, I think some of the parks and and um, the the even in the Lipscon area, how many more areas were opened up to to uh, to pedestrians, and this is. Uh, been very successful for the businesses and for the city. So I think this is a very positive sign. Uh, I think in Bucharest, you know, it's it's since I've been here since 2005, uh, really uh, uh, a continuous improvement. A few things are delayed that we wish uh, could go forward, uh, maybe a, a step backwards every now and then, but more, more or less, I think things are, are moving in the right direction. Thank you very much and uh, good luck. Great. Thank you very much.